stay home, eat great. You know, there's just something about beef that really gets people excited. Uh, if you watched last week, uh, I smoked a brisket and uh, it was delicious, it was tasty. We got about three meals out of it. And today we will be making slow cooked beef short ribs. Before we get started, why don't you subscribe right here on the bottom. Hit the bell so that every week you'll be notified of our new recipes. Be sure to share it with people you love uh, as we stay home eat great every time. Our aim, our focus is to help you cook great at home. Also, if you care, uh, we also have merchandise available. You can find that below in the description. Thank you once again for supporting us. Uh, so on to our ingredients. So today we're going with three and a half pounds of beef short ribs. These have the bone in. They take a while to cook and that's what's gonna make them excellent. We'll be using some uh, light tasting olive oil, some red wine, some uh, chicken stock, tomato paste, 50-50 uh, salt and pepper once again uh, a trend from last week and some garlic All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off by seasoning our beef short ribs Be sure to season all sides just like this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that to all of them real quick What we want to do first is we want to brown uh, our short ribs here in this Roaster I want to put a little bit of olive oil right in here we're going to go ahead and bring in our beef short ribs. We're wanting to get color throughout here. So I put in about two tablespoons of, of, of my olive oil. And, and you, you got to sear, you have to sear the meat otherwise uh, when it comes out, it's just going to seem like it was boiled. It's starting to smell really good. We want to get all, all four sides with color. So be sure to flip this. As you can see, we're already getting color here. Give them a flip. So be sure to play with your heat there to make sure that you're getting that color throughout. All right, so we've been going for about 10 or 12 minutes uh, on cooking here. Did you, can you see the color, the brown that's already coming in throughout? We're gonna, we're gonna cut the bottom of a garlic off, so a full bulb of garlic, put it right in here. We're gonna put it right in this oil here and it's gonna start imparting immediately some good, good flavor. I can already smell it, it's smelling nice. Two more minutes as we finish it off. I've had my, my roasting pan on high the whole time. All right, so while this is still going here, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tomato paste and we just wanna cook that down. There you go, right in there. If you don't cook it down, then it's, it's a really tart Next, we're gonna come in with our with our red wine. All right, red wine. Now, uh, any red wine will work. I bought the cheapest I could find. Uh, I don't drink wine. I don't. But uh, <clears throat> so we're gonna cook this down by half. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna all the alcohol will burn off, but it's gonna give us a very solid foundation, a very solid base. <clears throat> so let's bring this up to boil We want it to reduce by half So as that's happening, uh, we want to get our, our oven going at 180 Okay, so I've been cooking this down uh, You want to reduce the wine by half uh, How much did I put in? I put in a whole bottle uh, of wine and I reduced it by half and uh, that's just to make sure that all the alcohol burns off. And so the next step, the next thing we want to do is we want to bring in some beef stock or chicken stock. So I'm going to put some in here, um, roughly about an inch from the top. We want beef short ribs to slow cook in the oven. I had some chicken stock. Beef stock is probably better, but I have chicken stock here and that's what I'm using. And so I just put in a whole 48 ounces of chicken stock. And so now we want to bring this back to a boil. 
All right, so we brought uh, it back to a boil. To speed it up, I, I was using the back burner here as well. So we're back up to a boil. I left them bone side down, so now I'm gonna cover them. In this manner, they'll braise from the bottom and steam from the top. And nothing too fancy, okay? So uh, now again, the oven is at 180. So we're gonna place these in the oven at 180 for two and a half hours. Uh, again, I'm bone side down, right in the oven, 180 for two and a half hours. See you then. All right, so we're about 20 minutes uh, out before our short ribs are ready. I want to make a garnish as I was talking about earlier. So we have some we have some whole white mushrooms and I just want to take these and I'm going to quarter them. All right. That should be enough there. So I, I rinsed off some uh, flat parsley and I'm going to go ahead and chop it up for our garnish as well. Take this parsley here and chop it up just Just nice like this. We have some dry cured center cut bacon. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this and begin cooking it here with, along with our mushrooms. So we're kind of cubed, but not exactly. And we're going to go ahead and cook this first. And then we'll bring in the mushrooms. Go and bring in our mushrooms. We're gonna remove these from the heat. I removed our mushrooms and bacon from the pan. There, I didn't want it sitting in its in its grease. So you can put it just like this. Double paper here and pat it a little bit. And uh, of course, you can leave it covered. That way, it'll stay warm. All right, so our beef short ribs are finished. I want to get them out of the oven. They smell amazing. I can smell them already. Let's have a look at what's going on in here. Very nice. These are our short ribs. They've been slow roasted. As you can see with a fork, they're nice and tender. These have been in there for, for two and a half hours. Then I want to take uh, the garlic that I put in there earlier and we're just going to mash it like this. We're going to force it through. Breaks apart almost like butter. Almost like booter. This is our garlic here. And we're just mushing it together to get it through the sieve. You see that there? That's our garlic. So I just want to Bring it all through into here. So we have our serving platter and I'm gonna get all of our short ribs. One. They look amazing. I got two more. All right, we have six short ribs. And what I wanna do next, there we go. We're gonna bring this in here. We're gonna take our spoon now and put some over each one. There we go. Now we're gonna take our bacon and mushrooms, uh, literally making it, putting it over the top. <laughs> This is gonna take it over the top, guys. Bacon, mushrooms, and last, we're just gonna come along the top with our flat leaf parsley that we chopped a little earlier. Now, tell me, guys, if this meal is not fit for a king. I mean, for Mother's Day, Father's Day, uh, 
a great date night in, you know. I'm telling you guys, this right here, this is where it's at, guys. This is where it's at. Can you see that? There you have your slow cooked beef short ribs. Well, there you go, guys. I dare you to try this at home. Slow cooked beef short ribs in the oven. I mean, it'll make an awesome Friday night meal, Saturday night meal, or in this case, a Sunday night meal. This is Stay Home, Eat Great. I'm Steve Lopez, bringing you new recipes every single week. Uh, last week we made brisket, this week the uh, beef, the slow cooked uh, beef short ribs. Uh, you never know what's coming up next. If you can do me a favor, right on the bottom, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified every week. I'd love to bring you fresh recipes at home so you can stay home and eat great. Once again, I'm Steve Lopez. God bless you and be safe.